What's going on everybody, it's Joel here and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new, not even released yet, Genesis Jack Pro from Cleva Built. They sent me one a little bit early so I could do a review on it and have that ready before the launch date which is Black Friday. This comes out on Black Friday and it retails for $270. So I had initially done a review on the little Genesis Jack, the original one, and I thought that this was the perfect jack for just about anybody. Uh, if you were into deadlifting and you don't have the space for like a normal jack, I still think that the Genesis Jack is a must have if you're into deadlifting. But the Genesis Jack Pro is basically the big daddy of the original Genesis Jack. So it carries a lot the same de design language as the original Genesis Jack, uh, but it's just elongated and bigger and makes unloading and loading way more convenient because you don't have to do one side at a time. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the Genesis Jack Pro, and then we'll come back to it and I'll give you my impressions and my breakdown on the Genesis Jack Pro. Okay, so here is the Genesis Jack Pro right next to the original Genesis Jack. Obviously, the Pro is going to be a full-size jack in comparison to, you know, the half jack that you'd have to do one side at a time. The benefit of having the big jack or the full jack is that you can do both sides at one time. And I mean, right then and there, you can see how convenient this is. I just did that holding the camera with one hand, absolutely no problems. And from here, the plates are off the ground and I can easily load and unload the plates as I please. Uh, let, me un or let me unjack this bar so I can give you a little tour of the Genesis jack. So, as I said earlier, the design language is very, very similar. So the handle shape is pretty much the same exact thing. It uses an acetyl sheet of plastic for the handle. It's got grooves. It's very, very easy to grip and hold on to. The hooks are a little bit different. The hook on the original Genesis Jack is a little bit more aggressive than the Genesis Jack Pro. And I think that if there's any knock on the Pro, I think the hook could be a little bit more aggressive. Um, just because I thought that this one is just a little bit easier to get leverage on and hook under. The feet are made out of ABS plastic and the, the jack point is made out of that same acetyl plastic as well. So these are made out of aluminum, like the original one is made out of aluminum. And then the newer one is made out of an anodized black aluminum for the jack legs and the handle is made out of that same aluminum. And I thought it was kind of funny that it kind of wobbles. It doesn't actually wobble from the, the point, just that this is made out of aluminum. It's just, it has a little bit more flex to it. And then the body of the jack is made out of steel. So the installation of this jack is very, very easy. It comes with all the tools necessary, which was a huge help because I forgot all my tools. So you only have to do, you only have to bolt these little bolts in with an Allen wrench and a wrench. And then these two right here. And then these two right there. Total setup time was like 10 minutes, pretty, pretty fast. Using just hand tools. If you had like power tools, it'd be way faster. So now I'm gonna put the camera down and give you a little demo on how the jack actually works and compare it to the original Genesis Jack. All right, so before we start the demo, I just wanted to take a quick second to talk to you guys about the jeans that I have on. You guys have probably never seen me in jeans before, but at one point in my life, I used to be a huge denim head. I used to only wear like salvage raw denim, uh, but that was before I started working out. And then after I started working out, I just could not stand wearing that stuff anymore. It was just way too uncomfortable. Break-in just took way too long. And with a lot of trial and error, 
I think I finally found the perfect pair of jeans that have some kind of stretch and mobility to them. These are the Barclay jeans from Mott and Bow. So these have perfect stretch, like full mobility. I could work out in these jeans if I really wanted to. They're super duper comfortable. They come in three different fits. So these are the skinny fits. I don't have the most huge legs. I don't have the biggest legs in the world. So I think skinny jeans are, are perfect for me. Um, but they do come in a like straight fit. They come in a slim fit and they come in a skinny fit. I just buy all the skinny fit jeans, but I'm pretty sure that I could probably swing the slim fit as well. Straight fits, that's a little bit too big for me. Uh, what I really like about these is that they have a 13 inch leg opening and that allows me to show off all of my cool sneakers that I wear and uh, it lets me cuff the bottoms. Sometimes they're a little bit long for me. These are 31, 32. Uh, I am typically a, about that in most of my jeans and these fit me true to size. And like I said, they have tons of mobility. I mean, you can, you can really do anything in these jeans. Plus they look nice. And the denims that they use are super high quality fabrics. I have a couple other pairs that are just like wash denim. These are just a straight black denim, which I, I really like. Uh, so you can get 10% off your Mott & Bow purchase using code AMRAP10. Um, I highly recommend them. I think that they are some of the best jeans that you can get for the money, super duper comfortable. But anyways, let's talk about the Genesis Jack or let's get to demoing it. So this is the original Genesis Jack, which is a single sided Jack or half Jack. And then from this, you would just take it, you put it under one side of your bar, pick it up and then boom, the other side is down, but you can unload one side pretty easily. Um, so I still think that this is plenty Jack for most people. Plus it's really light. You can put it in your, your gym bag. But having the Genesis Jack Pro here is just way more convenient. This is like not even the right side to jack on. You usually want to be on the other side of the jack when you do it, but I can do it from this side with ease, one-handed with the Genesis Jack Pro. Now both sides are off the ground. I can easily unload and load plates on. And that takes the worst part of deadlifting, which is loading and unloading. Uh, it makes that, it takes that and makes it cake. I deadlifted up to, or the first day that I got this and I tested it out, I deadlifted up to 500 pounds. It took me only two and a half minutes. Uh, I put that video on Instagram and I'll link it so that you guys can check that out. And then boom, you put it down, have to stop that. And like I said, this thing is super duper lightweight, one-handed operation. Just very, very simple. So like I said before, I do think that the hooks could be a little bit more aggressive. Like if I go to hook it in here, sometimes it will push the bar a little bit. And I think if it had, you know, like just a little bit more aggressive hooks like the original Genesis Jack, you could just really get under there and hook it a little bit easier. But that's a real minor complaint. Another thing that I really like about this jack is that it is a lot longer than normal full jacks and that will minimize the amount of bend that is put into the bar. And honestly, I don't think bars are going to bend from being put on a jack, but just the overall, just like longevity and lifespan, I think it'll help out uh, if, you're, if you have a more elongated jack. So let me grab my other jack that I was using. So this is the other jack that I was using and it's just a tine jack and it works all right. Um, but man, it's heavy, it's cumbersome to move around. This thing is, it's got to be, I mean, at least 30 pounds. And then the original or the Genesis Jack Pro is only 11.3 pounds, which makes moving this thing around the gym very, very simple. I'm sure you could hang this up if you're in a, like a garage space and you have limited space. Uh, you could just take this, hang it up somewhere, get it out of the way. Uh, but doing that with a, Doing that with this jack is going to be very, very difficult because I mean, it's just, you're not going to be able to pick this up that easily and put it on like the ceiling or something. So get out of here. 
All right, so that pretty much concludes it for the review of the Genesis Jack Pro. I think if you're a heavy deadlifter, you should strongly consider adding one of these into your arsenal. It makes loading and unloading super duper easy. It looks really, really awesome. It's built extremely well, engineered very well. And, and it's really not that much more than if you were to go on Rogue and buy their full jack, which costs like 200 bucks, then shipping's like another 30, you got tax in there. Uh, for me, it's like 250 bucks to get like the normal style jack, whereas this costs $270. Yes, it does cost a little bit more, but there's a little bit more engineering to it. Plus it's a lot more easy and convenient to use because it's very, very light. And I mean, it just, it looks freaking badass. So it does come out on Black Friday. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can pick one up or you can buy the original Genesis Jack, which I still really, really recommend because of the price point of that. It's like only $100 and the ease of carrying that around. But the Genesis Jack Pro is highly recommended if you are serious about deadlifting. This is a serious jack that looks really, really awesome and it's engineered super duper well. If you guys have any questions about the Genesis Jack Pro, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.